Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a video on how I clean my uh, fish tank, which has three bass and one bluegill in it. And I thought I'd make this just because uh, they're not fish that everybody has. So, um, I did catch all these fish a few months ago. And uh, since then they have gotten pretty big. So, I'm going to make a video on them today. And, um, haven't cleaned this tank in about two weeks. So, it is kind of dirty and uh, needs a cleaning. Uh, as you can see, there is some uh, algae on it and uh, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I think I'll set up a uh, GoPro. And, um, just so you guys don't have to watch the water draining, because it's pretty boring. Um, so I'll set up a time lapse for you guys. But first, um, I have two buckets like these. I'll just, uh, take this, um, siphon the water out into the buckets. And I only do it halfway, so not full water change, because it'll kill the fish and so yeah one of these and then I'll show you all the chemicals and stuff to put in at the end but um yeah switch over to GoPro now all right guys um before I start the time lapse video of the water draining I just want to kind of show you what I will do for it. so I will just take out the filter clean out that and um i will no sometimes clean out their uh, little houses in here but i think for this video i'll just show you how i change the water and everything i do to keep it clean but um yeah so let's see i might need to unplug this stuff actually But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's pretty clean, so it's like I said, just that algae right there. And then you see the filter's not really looking that good because it is pretty dirty inside. I have not changed it. So, um, uh, yep, I will get to um, the time lapse going and show you the draining process. And then I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so here we are. That's about half water. And um, yeah, I cleaned the filter out. Still looks kind of dirty because I actually need to get a new one. I do not have a spare one for it, so that is gonna have to work for now. But, um, yeah, like I said, I was not um, not going to take out the houses today and clean those. Just because I'm just kind of trying to do a short video. But, um, yeah, got as best as I could. Got all that algae and stuff off. So, yeah, looks pretty nice now. And then, um, next step is to start filling this thing up with water. So... Um, yeah, I'll put you on time lapse again of this thing filling up, and I'll be back. All 
All right, guys, so that's what the tank looks like now. Um, it's still a little cloudy because I just put the water in, but um, yep, I did pretty much get all the algae and stuff on it. And uh, there's the three of my bass, and then my bluegill is right there. So uh, I will also put up a picture of when I first caught these guys and they were super little and they have grown a lot. But um, yeah, now for the last part, uh, that's what I use. I forgot to put the tap water in, the tap water conditioner in before I put the new water. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that now. So. So yep, got that in. And then now time for the uh, bacterial stuff. It just removes any bacteria in there so they don't get sick or anything. But, um, and it helps with the fungus because sometimes these bass will grow fungus on them. And this is what I use and it works pretty good. So, great. Put a little bit of that in. So, um, yeah, guys, um, if you liked uh, this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.